Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Chani here. Chani is just my last name, C-H-A-N-I, it's just my last name. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, some friends used to call me that back when I was uh, back home. Uh, you know, coach D always used to call me that. Shout out to Coach D, my high school coach. Um, uh, some other friends as well. But um, yeah, I just thought, I just thought, why not uh, talk about myself, and just introduce myself to the channel, and talk about you know my past, where I played before, and all the different te all the different teams I went through up until today. So let's just get straight to it. So I started getting into soccer really back in 2009 um, in, uh, in New York, in Orbindale. I played for Orbindale Soccer Club and that's just where, when it all started. When it all started, uh, you know, practice, not every day, probably like two, three times a week maybe, and then games on the weekend. But um, yeah, just, you know, recreational soccer, nothing really competitive. I was never in any academies or any of that stuff. Before that, it was always, you know, just street soccer, playing with my friends, you know, you know how it is. Uh, back, you know, back in the day, you know, we play when school finishes, go home, change, go out, stay until the sun goes down, get back home, dinner, sleep, repeat the next day. But um, yeah, the good old times, good old times. So after the 2009 season, my family and I, we ended up moving to Morocco. And uh, when I was in Morocco, I was there from 2011 to 2015. Went to Morocco in 2011. And I went to a school over there, Amicitia, and I played for the uh, school team in Amicitia. Uh, it's, you know, it's not really serious. Uh, you know, we didn't have like practice every single day and then games on the weekends. It was more like going to some tournaments. We remember we went to a tournament against some other local uh, American schools. So it was an American school, not a public a Moroccan school. It was, an, I guess, private American school because I didn't have the language. I didn't have the Arabic. Um, nor the French, I still don't have the Arabic or the French um, to go and study at a public school. So I studied uh, in private American school and we played in the American school tournament and uh, yeah, it was fun, it was fun. But um, yeah, that was 2011-2012, 2012-2013, I moved to a city in Morocco called Ifran and um, there I, play, I played, uh, I went to the school of um, uh, Efran American School, right? ASI American School of Efran, American School of Efran, and I played for the team over there. Uh, made some friends, and again, not really serious. You didn't have practice every day, and you know, not not a lot of not a ton of games. We played a tournament, and that was yeah. It's uh, uh, bad on my fault. It was my fault for not training as hard as I should have. I should have trained more. And this one thing, you know, I kind of regret, kind of don't. I mean, I, there's, there's no point of regret because you're only thinking about the past. So think about today and tomorrow. Efren, I was an Efren for the year 2012-2013. And then the year 2013-2014, I did homeschooling my freshman year. I was homeschooled. I didn't like it at all. You know, it was just a, a ton of ton of work and it's not even it's not the workload it's just I, I wasn't it's it's not like you're in a classroom you're with your buddies and you're laughing and you know you you, you have you got lunch with your friends and you, you finish school and you go to practice after after school it's just not the same thing and I'm, I'm more of a social guy I like hanging out with friends I like being you know with with people and just me being home on my computers working on assignments just didn't work out for me and yeah, so I, I, I did it. I obviously passed ninth grade freshman year. And that was for the 2013-14 year. And then the 14-15, that's where, you know, things kind of uh, got mixed up. My year, the year of 2014-15, I decided to move to England. And because I have some family there near Birmingham in a city called Walsall. And um, I, I went there, I went to a local public school and because of visas and immigration, it didn't work out. So it didn't work out. And I ended up coming back to Morocco at the, towards the end of the 2014 year, around um, October, November, December-ish, somewhere around there. And so I was there for about three, maybe four months in England. Visas didn't work out. So I came back, uh, came back to Morocco and then my family and I decided, uh, my, my family decided, let's just move back to the States. But instead of New York, this time, let's go to Florida. We moved back, we moved to Florida in 2015, February of 2015. 
And that's where everything just clicked for me. It just kind of like clicked on the day we landed to Florida where I told myself, I want to go pro. I want to play professional. I want to play at the highest level possible. And that's when everything started. All my hard work, training twice a day, three, four times a day even. And I don't know how I got away with that. Well, you know, injury wise and, and all that stuff, but I never had any injuries, thank God, all those four years. So uh, four years, three years of high school, yeah, three years of high school. I finished my sophomore year. I finished, so I did half my sophomore year in England and the other half I did it in Lake Mary in, uh, in Florida. And when I finished my sophomore year, I, that year was just so mixed up and everything, I just, I, I, I didn't learn anything. I didn't learn anything that year from all the moving. So I decided I, uh, I went to, I ended up going from Lake Mary to Orlando and Dr. Phillips uh, to Dr. Phillips High School because of my mom's job and everything. So we had to move over there. And when I moved to Dr. Phillips because of my grades and I did take care of my grades, um, they were going to pass me. They were ready to pass me. They told me I can move on to junior year. But I decided I'd rather repeat the year because I know I didn't learn anything and I felt like it would probably hold me back in the future. So I repeated the year, my sophomore year. So I did sophomore year in uh, Dr. Phillips High School all the way to senior year and graduated. And in those three years that I was there, I played for the team, the, the DP, the Dr. Phillips uh, High School team. Um, my sophomore and junior year, I was on JV. And my senior year, I moved up to varsity. And at the same time, the way it works over in America, uh, for those of you that are in Europe or, or elsewhere, half of the season you're playing with your club team and the other half you're playing with your high school team. And so I played for, for my high school team those three years and also a club team called uh, ACYS, uh, Association Christian Youth Soccer Spirit United. So really long, but yeah, ACYS, I played there for three years, three seasons with them. And uh, again, great experience, met new people. And uh, you know, that's where I really trained in those three years that I was uh, back in Florida to uh, my high school. Uh, during my high school years, that's when I really grinded. I really worked really hard. Um, I was uh, always at the track, either at the gym, at the track, at the field, at the, the, the handball court, you know, working on passing, first touch, everything, you name it. And uh, yeah, I was just really grinding. I told myself I want to play college soccer or I want to go pro or I want to start off semi-pro or I want to move to Europe. Whatever the case is, whatever ends up happening, I want to play soccer at the highest level possible. So I finally graduated high school and I graduated high school and then I told, I, I had a decision. Do I play college soccer? Do I move to Europe because I have some family in Europe and you know try to work my way up the ranks through, through the divisions? In football or or do I you know try and work my way up in America so I just I had those three options try to work my way up professionally in the in the States you know find the a, a PDL or an NPSL team uh, that's semi-professional or do I work my way or do I go and play college soccer uh, I went to a couple ID camps a couple D2 ID camps I had some options but I just never followed up because the third option is the option that I chose, which was go to Europe and just work my way up. And that's the option that I chose. I chose to go to Europe after I graduated. I have some family in France. I have some family in Germany and England. But um, what, what worked out the most was the, the connection I had in France. It's uh, my dad's really close friend. He lives in a, a, a city called Fernet in France, really close to the border of Switzerland. And um, so uh, before I get there though, uh, so I finished, I graduated high school and I go, I went to Morocco over the summer and I stayed with my dad there and uh, I was just preparing myself, preparing myself to move to Europe. And at, that sa at the same time, while I'm preparing myself, training every day, I found a local team in uh, Casablanca called um, La Perle Noire, APN, APN. And that was an awesome experience. They're a semi-professional team in the fourth division in Morocco. And uh, yeah, I trained with them every day. I played matches and I played with them for the first half of the season all the way up until the end of December. And that's when I decided, all right, I think it's time. I want to go to Europe. That's it. And I, I moved to Fernet. I moved to Fernet January 12th. I uh, landed in Geneva because uh, the Fernet is like just 15 minute drive, not even to Geneva. And that's where my, that's where my dad's friend lived in uh, Fernet. 
So, so my best friend, he let me stay at his. I play. I stayed at his um his place for two months. The first two months, and obviously he didn't kick me out. That's uh, that's just uh, that would be messed up. But I mean, you know, I understood, and I told him, all right, I think it's time for me to move out, find my own place, which is the place I am uh, here right now. It's uh, in La Plaine, as you as I spoke about in the previous videos. I'm in the club Meran FC, and I'm playing with the third team. And the first team, obviously, some most players have contracts, I believe, or some players have contracts. They get money, they get salary. So that's really cool. And, you know, I just got to work my way up. Got to work my way up. And I'm a hard worker. And I believe, I believe that I can um, play in the first team in the future. The only thing that's going, that may stop me from that is the visa problems. And that's something out of my control. So as of right now, my situation is... I'm waiting on the immigration office to get back to me and see what information or what kind of visa they can give me or what they can do with my situation. And hopefully, hopefully things work out. I'll be able to stay here and, uh, you know, continue working my way up. And if not, then um, I still haven't made a full decision of what I'm going to do. Maybe go back home, back to the States or maybe move to England because England, uh, I don't need a visa for six uh, for six months. But I'm going to talk about visas. I'm going to talk about how to move to Europe in the next uh, coming up, uh, next upcoming videos. But besides that, that's my story. That's my story. Um, so way back in New York, although I mm -hmm. never thought, I never thought in all of my life that I'd be in La Plaine, Switzerland. Literally, never thought about that. Never thought I'd even be in France or Europe. I never thought about. It. But it's it's football. Football you, football takes you to to different places around the world. And one thing that I love about what I'm doing, which is traveling, uh, traveling around Europe or, or or Morocco and and the states, trying to get that professional contract, is meeting new people, uh, playing different styles of football, and it's just amazing. It's an amazing experience, and um, I, I really hope I can continue doing this. And hopefully sign that contract, um, sign that contract soon. But um, besides that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about these videos that I'm posting. Any advice, anything that comes across your mind, put it down in the comment section below. Like the video, smash that like button, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends and family, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy, guys. Peace.